All right. Hey, my friends, and welcome to this episode where we're going to talk about the nuance of what you do versus how you do it and why this is something that we all know, but uh, a lot of times we're unaware of this in our own lives, especially when it comes to OCD, anxiety, recovery. So um, real quick before we dive into the show, if you're looking for help and support on your own journey uh, to recovery, please check out the links in the notes. I have some great resources for you. I just created a whole new starter pack um, and it's totally free on uh, restoredminds.com. If you go to restoredminds.com backslash start, uh, you'll be able to get access. And again, in that, uh, it includes, uh, again, weekly um, exclusive content from me as well as access to live events that I host every month and um, as far as and, and other resources that you're going to get access to uh, again all for free really encourage you to take advantage of it um, also if you benefit from the show please help us out by liking subscribing and leaving a nice review so let's dive in so what you do versus how you do it so let's take a, a you know just general concepts in our life and and understand the nuances of this because uh, then we also need to understand the same aspect applies when it comes to how we implement the tools in our life when we're working on our mental health or physical health or working on improving ourselves in any way. So let's use the example of me giving flowers to my wife, right? So, uh, you know, it's been a big year for us, um, you know, for, for a variety of reasons. Um, all, all, good things have emerged, but you know, we, um, we just had our second baby and, you know, we're coming up on our seventh anniversary and which is, which is really exciting. And so I haven't told my wife this, but I'm going to be giving her flowers and I'll use this analogy because, um, I think it will, it will drive home the point. So let's say that on our anniversary, I buy two dozen beautiful, just pristine roses Right. And I come and give her the roses, but I do it from a place of kind of disinterestedness and like obligation, like, hey, here are your flowers, you know, and and I don't bring an energy into it at all. I just kind of hand her the actual flowers. Okay, that's option one. Option two is let's say I'm going along and I go and cut one flower. Right. Just one flower out of let's say it's even like just like a, a daisy or something like that. It's not even a rose. I just cut a flower. And I walk up to her and all excited and, you know, filled with love and joy. And I said, oh, I got you this flower and it just reminded me of you. And I'm so excited. And I just want to give it to you and say that I love you. And I bring that energy into it of just transference of, of love energy. And I, and as I'm giving that, that flower to her now, which one do you think that she would like more? And, and the answer is pretty obvious. It's the second, right? Because when you do something, but you do something from, the the wrong energy state or a low energy state versus you do something you know even even less than that and you do it from a higher energy state it's always going to be received better because of it's not it's not necessarily about what you do it's about how you do it and the energy you bring into that so i say all that to say okay well what does this mean matt how does this apply to ocd and anxiety treatment well or recovery and the answer is is when you are let's say practicing disengaging from the mind or you're learning how to feel emotion right you're practicing the triple a response right uh like i talk about in my book uh or that i teach in tbc uh you know i have links down below for those if you're interested in learning but you're practicing the triple a response if you're doing it from the place of i hate the way i am right now and I need to fix myself and change myself and I resent myself for experiencing this and I'm, I'm doing this from this place of self-disgust versus I'm learning a skill set to be more loving to myself. Like think about the energy in which you're doing something when you're working on yourself. And a lot of people, what I've learned from working with people for, you know, I don't know, 15 years now or whatever it's been, is they oftentimes are implementing the tools they're learning from this place of self-hatred, self-disgust, self-loathing, right? And they're trying to change themselves and you know, fix themselves as opposed to implementing the tools how they're really meant to be implemented from a place of self-love. And in in this regard, what you do is not always important as how you are doing it, right? You can do the stuff correctly. I could bring the two roses 
or the two dozen roses to my wife. But if I'm doing it from a place of just neutrality or kind of disinterestedness or, you know, guilt or shame, it's not going to be received from if I'm doing it from a place of love and excitement and joy. And when you're talking about working on yourself, if you're working on yourself all in in your starting point is I'm unacceptable, right? I hate this about myself. I'm, you know, I'm disgusted with this about myself versus I am compassionate, I'm loving and I'm interested in improving myself. The the entire trajectory of your path is going to be is going to be altered just simply by the state in which you do something. You could do something from a higher energy state and do 50% of the work that you do in the lower energy state and you're going to get better results simply because of the energy in which you do it or the energy of how you do it, I should say. This nuance is, is so important because so many people are uh, that, that I see struggling with this are in this self-rejection, uh, self-disgust, like self fixing mentality and they're trying to jam these tools and these exercises and all this work on themselves in an attempt to manipulate and change themselves uh, and and it's and it's done from this this really really low energy where when you when you begin to shift the entire energy of what you're implementing that's when results really begin to show and and I wanted to talk about this nuance because it's not necessarily about what you do. Oftentimes, what's more important is how you're doing it. And so if you're working on the AAA response, you're working on ERP, you're working on, uh, you know, even the idea of accepting emotions, letting go of emotions, uh, disengaging the mind, you have to become aware of the energy in which you're bringing into that act itself. Because uh, if, you, if you're not aware and you're doing it from a low energy, in the same way if I brought my wife flowers from a place of disinterestedness or a place of fear or, you know, please don't leave me, you know, that's going to, like, it doesn't matter what I do. The energy in which I'm doing it is going to ultimately have a bigger impact on the results. And I say, I say results, it's like, and I don't think of that in the relationship sense, but like the uh, growth or the harm that it would do to my relationship, right? With my wife, same thing with myself right? It's like the self-growth or the self-harm I'm going to do is is not necessarily about what I'm doing, but the state in which I'm doing it or how I'm doing it. So hope that makes sense. Hope it helps you on your journey. And again, if you're looking for help and support, um, you know, I, I do have openings now. Um, I'm back, you know, working with uh, people. I've taken some time off since, um, being with my son after his after he was born, so we have links down in the notes. Uh, you've completed an application if it's something you're interested in, and then we can uh, see if it makes sense to work together. So thank you so much. Uh, wish you guys a great day, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Hey there. So if you enjoyed that video, we've linked up a few more videos that we think you'd find helpful as well. And if you have found this helpful, we'd really appreciate your support by liking and subscribing. And if you're looking for help and guidance, please check out restoredminds.com as we have several options for you to get started. See you guys soon.